Hey, what's up guys? Jeff Org with Org Media and Org Entertainment. Uh, so this is part three of all the things that we'll bring or I'll bring to shoot video for a wedding. Uh, I know I've mentioned this uh, undefined bag before. I personally like it. Uh, it's You can change out the covers if you want. Um, and then it can just kind of clip to your belt. In this case, this is a Chinese knockoff of a think tank belt. And the name of the company is, I don't know how you pronounce that, Letu Photo. This was super hard to find actually. This is like the only one that I could find. And um, it's just sort of like a padded belt and it has these little loops in here. So if you were to uh, attach other, you know, pouches or what have you, you can put the, the loop thingy through here, like so. Um, it just has a simple buckle, not like the actual think tank um, belt, but it works, like I haven't had any issues with this. Um, again, carabiners everywhere, gaff tape everywhere. Uh, this system's okay. I, pro I probably wouldn't buy it again. Um, it's nice for holding like a couple of lenses or maybe like the microphones if I'm getting ready to uh, wire up the officiant or the groom. Um, in here I'll put like the CF cards and the SD cards. And then in here, I just have like some other kind of goodies that I'll bring with me. So in this case, um, stack of business cards. This is rice paper. And what this is, this is like a makeup thing. And like if someone's shiny, this will remove skin, up oh, skin, this will remove oil from their skin. Uh, I guess it does remove some skin too, which is very minute amounts. But anyway, this is nice to have. Like if, if your subject is shiny and you just want to do a quick, like get the shine off their face, you can do that. So um, you can get these at like the drugstore. And then um, another one inch C-clamp. Uh, this is just sort of the backup C-clamp because it's, since it's red, you can kind of see it in some images. Uh, this was a freebie uh, micro fiber cloth that I have in, in the bag that it came with. And then another um, hot shoe adapter thingy. And then Larissa was kind enough to give me this little mini multi-tool. And I keep that with me in here. So this particular multi-tool is um, pliers. And like a little screwdriver. And a nail file, just in case you need to file your nails while surviving. Um, another little screwdriver and a uh, bottle opener. Oh, and then there's like a little wire snip right there too. So during a wedding, oh, and then here's like one more quarter 20 knob thing and another lens pen. Oh, <laughs> and another Allen wrench just in case. Okay, so I'll wear this during the whole wedding and usually I'll keep like whatever lenses I'm swapping out um, in between and another lens cloth over here. And it's, yeah, it's okay. One thing that I would love for this thing to do is like if it could hold the camera like lens and body on the camera. But unfortunately, 
like it sticks out so much that it just like will the the body will want to fall out. So it's okay. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I, I don't think I'd buy it again. But it's lasted for a, f a few years already. So that's that thing. Um, we always bring a slider, uh, or at least I always bring a slider to a wedding. And this is a Canova slider. It's one of the older Canova sliders that I've upgraded the legs on. And then again, we use the, um, the 717AH heads. And I personally love Canova sliders. They're, um, they're good. So highly recommend it. This one is the 60 centimeter one. And so uh, a lot of the footage that you'll see on our website um, has been done with just this short little 60 centimeter slider. And I like it because it is shorter and uh, it's a little bit more compact and it just kind of gives me the moves that I, I need. Comes in very handy. And then we'll bring a few tripods. Um, typically at least minimum two tripods, uh, usually three tripods. So this is just a 717 tripod. Not the tallest 717 tripod, but um, not your short, not the short one that's commonly found on Amazon. So just be aware that there is a taller version. And in fact, there's like a tallest version, which we have one, but it's, it's being used right now um, by Noah behind the camera. So a couple of these, and then like it will fit in this box. That's like another thing why I love this box is that you can fit tripods, light stands, and that kind of thing right in the box. Uh, here's another tripod. Just kind of throw that in there. You can get two tripods easily into that box. Um, this is the Kovacam uh, Monocam. I really like the idea of this thing. I first heard about it through uh, Nitsan or Nitsan. Yeah, Nitsan on YouTube and you know he gave such a good review and I love the idea behind this thing. So essentially this is a video monopod. That is also like a glide cam. And then we added this video head on top. Uh, this particular model is like the latest version and it's CF, which stands for carbon fiber. And I don't like the carbon fiber. While I like that it is lighter, it is, there's so much, there's so much flex in this. Whenever you extend the legs, there's just so much flex. Like you can even see it kind of like wobbling right now. And, you know, if you're trying to make a move in monopod mode, and it's like flexing, it totally defeats the purpose. The other thing I don't like about this particular design are these, the, the twist lock mechanism, as you can see, it's just, it's a pain. Um, I much prefer locks like closer to this where it's like a clamp lock because it's just like open it up close it down and it's locked. I get that um, they probably can't put the clamp version on these because it'll like adversely affect balance when you're in glide cam mode. So yeah, it's just too bad. I don't know. Like I, this one already is very buggy. Like I've had to disassemble it and reassemble it and I may not have done a good job in doing that, as you can see how it, it'll like stop. So awesome idea. I love, and then see, that's the other thing too, is just like forgetting which way these things lock. Awesome idea, I love the concept of it. The execution of it, I think could, they could refine it a little bit more. The other thing too, um, I'm just 
gonna move this aside so you guys can see. I've added epoxy to connect this carbon fiber stick to this base plate that they provided. They did some sort of epoxy before and uh, it wasn't very strong. And if I can work this down, I can try and show you how much epoxy. Well, I've put like a ton of epoxy, just this foam cushion has kind of worked its way up. And unfortunately, one time when Noah was flying this thing upside down, uh, he had his 5D Mark III with the 24105 and um, Rode video mic plus this head. And then that epoxy joint that they had was just very thin and the, this whole assembly just fell off onto the ground. So it, it actually broke his Rode mic. And so uh, since then I have like bought special epoxy that can um, connect to carbon fiber as well as to metal and I've epoxied them together. I was sort of careful not to put epoxy over these little bolts that connect the, this metal piece to the, the base plate, though I don't think I'd ever disassemble it. But uh, overall, it's okay. Like I said, like, if construction was a little bit better, this thing would be awesome and mind-blowing. Like it's, it's like everything all in one, pretty much. Um, and then there's like a decent set of uh, fine-tune adjustments here and here, so you do have the left and right and the forward. Um, and then kind of putting a head on this is a little bit cumbersome, um, but it's okay. And then I, I would love for them to sell additional quick release plates because, um, you know, sometimes you just want to switch it out and dial it in real quick. So that's this guy, and we'll bring some sort of glide cami monopod kind of thing with us. And in this case, that's this guy. Uh, typically, we don't put this in the case just because if it's already pre-balanced, we don't want to mess up the balance. And then um, we'll bring two lights and two little light stands. So um, these particular lights, they're just LED lights. This one's the... Amaran LED light. Um, it takes two batteries and they're just those Sony uh, FP kind of generic lights. Um, you can take this out and swap it out for like a clear one. And it has quarter 20 on the sides and bottom here. Um, this particular one I heard ab about through Cheesy Cam, so you can check out his video on that. After kind of maybe a couple of years of use, this light's okay. The light output I think is good, um, but it does require two batteries to work. And um, this thing kind of goes through batteries pretty quickly. Uh, one thing I, and then this, the DC outlet is sort of weak. I've had to take this apart and like re kind of just fix this a little bit in order to get it. Uh, working again, but it's okay. So it will dim and you can turn it on and off. In the case, you can't leave the batteries on the unit or else it will turn on in the case that it comes with. So I'd just be aware of that. Uh, these stands, these are the Cowboy Studio. You can get two of these. I think they're seven foot stands for like under $30, I wanna say they're like 20 bucks or 30 bucks for two stands shipped from Amazon. Um, I like them very much because they're so compact and uh, they fit into this case right here. Uh, they're kind of, they're made of metal. These, this is plastic. On a lot of these stands, are, this locking mechanism sort of wears out. The, the, the bolt over here. And when you get them, you have to adjust the tension on these bolts to kind of get to the right tension that you like. But for, you know, for 30 bucks for two of them shipped, 
it's I love them so I highly recommend them plus there's a like quarter 20 um, attachment on top as well as the standard spigot right here so uh, and then for seven feet that's pretty much like the minimum height that I need to kind of get the right just high enough so I, I kind of highly recommend these guys another light that we have is the the photo deox um, and I forget how many this is I want to say this is 96 but uh, hope you know if I'm not too lazy we'll get it right in the description for you guys this is an older version um, this one is a bicolor LED so you can when you turn it on you can change it between like a close to tungsten color and close to daylight uh, they're not exactly tungsten and it's not exactly daylight but it's sort of close so we kind of work with it a uh, couple things that I like about this light it takes two batteries but it can work with just one battery so even if you came down to one battery you can still uh, use it and then it doesn't this one is pretty efficient it it can last uh, through you know kind of like at full power for a pretty long time whereas this guy uh, we tend to run this light uh, under 30 percent on the on the dimmer here and this will still kind of go through batteries pretty quickly granted there's more LEDs on that but um, I think the light output is pretty close um, what else so there is a battery tester on here I don't know how accurate that is but I kind of like this in the newer kit they're also including uh, barn doors and those are super useful so if this ever gives out or whatever I don't know I might look into getting that a couple other things that we'll bring um, we'll bring I'll, I'll just kind of throw in one of the boxes uh, roll of gaff tape again just you know super useful you can tape down some wires let's say for the projector uh, for a same day edit or you want to tape a microphone to somebody you can do this and then it you know it rains a lot here in Hawaii or it has a tendency to rain so I bought these a long time ago on eBay and what these are are just these like they call it camera rain cover protector and I don't even remember how much it was but I want to say it's under five bucks on eBay and as you can see by the picture here just a plastic bag with some string on it and your lens can still kind of see as well as then kind of drape over the uh, camera body itself so and there's like an opening to allow for like the tripod and stuff um, we haven't actually really used these things but I bring them anyway just in case and I think that is pretty much it for the things that will bring to a wedding um, if you liked the video and I know that they were super long but I kind of want to just show you everything that we bring and why we bring them and how we use them uh, when I was first starting out it took me like a long time to kind of figure out this system and this is a system that uh, is just really reliable for us and it's not a ton of stuff I mean it is a ton of stuff in terms of like relative to photographers but for videography I think you can bring a lot more things but for us I don't think we for our style this totally works for us so if you have any questions or comments or other ideas or suggestions please let us know uh, let us know in the comments definitely subscribe to us and check out all the new videos that we're coming out with we're really focusing now on trying to create more fun and interesting original content and um, also shifting our our wedding videos and events to being a lot more creative so um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later Aloha